Okay, so um, it is now, I don't have my, I don't have my phone in front of me, so I know it's after 6.30, All right, 6.35 p.m. So I'm gonna call this regular meeting of the City Council and WPCA to order. Today is Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. Uh, participating in the meeting um, by Zoom is Councilwoman Ann Rewett, Councilman David Oliver, Councilman Drake Waldron, Councilwoman Sharon Wagner, and Councilman Frank Rubino. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna jump right into the uh, meeting, starting with item number one on the agenda. I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting held December 21st, 2020. So moved. Thank you, Councilman, Councilwoman Wagner. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilman Rubino. Questions on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, item two. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the special meeting held January 13th, 2020. So moved. Thank you, Councilman Wagner. I'll, I'll second. second. I, I heard Councilman Rubino with a second. Um, questions um, on those minutes? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. And one abstention, that would be Councilman Waldron. All right, moving into item three, I will entertain a motion to accept the mayor's appointment of Joe Paith as a regular member of the Veterans Advisory Committee for a four-year term expiring on October 1st, 2024. So moved, Waldron. Thank you, Councilman Waldron. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman Wagner. Questions on this motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item four, I'll entertain a motion to repeal the reappointments of Sam Slaby, Donna Mariah, Jane Vanini, and Michael Sartori that were approved on October 19th, 2020, having reached the maximum term limit allowed under Connecticut General Statutes 22, no, this is our um, city charter section 22-16 of the code of ordinances for the city of Torrington, and approve the mayor's appointment of Tyler Young, Marie Soliani, and Lynn Farley as regular members of the Board of Ethics for three-year terms expiring on September 1st, 2023. I'll move it. Thank you, Councilwoman Ruet. I'll second. And Councilwoman Wagner. Are there questions on the motion? I'm just happy to see young people coming on in that position, such as Tyler Young. I think he'll, be, he'll do a good job. I agree. If there are no other questions or comments, I'll call the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item five, I'll entertain a motion to approve the mayor's reappointment of Ngaza Mwanda, DeLois Lindsay, Catherine Meats, and Antoinette Denise Singleton as regular members of the Cultural Affairs Committee for four year terms expiring on January 1st, 2025. So moved. Second. All right, I think I heard Councilman Waldron seconded by Councilwoman Wagner. Are there questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item six, I'll entertain a motion to approve the mayor's appointment of Aaron Elliott, Jessica Knudsen, and Judy Kovalars Dillard as regular members of the Cultural Affairs Committee to fill the remainder of four year terms expiring on January 1st, 2023. So moved. Thank you, Councilman Waldron. I'll second. And seconded by Councilwoman Rouet. Are there questions on this motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Item seven. I'll entertain a motion to reappoint George Nujam as a regular member of the Board of Assessment of Appeals, Assessment Appeals, for a three-year term expiring on December 6th, 
So moved. Thank you, Second. All right, motion by Councilwoman Wagner, seconded by Councilman Oliver. Questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item eight, I'll um, entertain a motion to accept the recommendations of the small city subcommittee to approve the following change orders. Um, and I think I'll just read them by project number. T018020, T018-024, T018-025, T018-026, T018-130031, I'll read it again, T018-031, T018-038, and T018-106. So moved. And I would like to recommend we change one word and add one more street to the list. Okay. Okay, Bank Street at the bottom. The final yes. should be Brook Street. Okay. And uh, I don't know what the, the project number was, but the, the address was Fairlawn Drive. Okay. Project okay. number is T018-032-ROOF. Okay. Okay, and Dan, what, what amount did we want to put in for that the thirteen hundred? Yeah, thirteen hundred dollars uh, was the change order. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Okay. A second that. All right. So, motion uh, made by Councilman Waldron and seconded by Councilman Rubino, as amended. Are there questions? Hearing none. All in favor. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item nine, I'll entertain a motion acting herein as a water pollution control authority to approve the following payments from fund 490 sanitary sewer capital improvement. Invoice number 2190419, invoice number 1210517, and invoice number 00021124. I think that's it. Is there another page? Nope, that's it. Do I have a motion to approve those invoices? No so moved. Thank you, Councilman Walden. And seconded by Councilman Oliver. Do I hear I, any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, so moving into item 10, uh, I will entertain a motion to accept the recommendation of the Board of Public Safety and approve the reallocation of funds in the amount of $4,174.26 from contingency for the replacement of eight tires on the, on the city-owned tanker fire apparatus maintained and operated by Drakeville Volunteer Fire Department in accordance with National Fire Protection Association safety standards for emergency response vehicles um, and I, I, I'm eliminating pending Board of Finance authorization because they already approved this. Do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Uh, okay, heard of Councilman Waldron. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Councilwoman Wagner. All right, questions on this motion? I think I have Chief Towie on the call. Yes, Mayor, I'm here. So, um, yeah, just so real quickly, um, the Tanker is a city-owned tanker that's operated by Drakeville Volunteer Fire Department through an MOU. Um, the, the tanker provides, you know, 3,000 gallons of water for our non-hydrogen areas and also is utilized when there's water supply issues or, or areas where we may have problems with the water supply system. Um, the, the vehicle is in good general repair. That MOU does require Drakeville to maintain um, the apparatus as they're operating it, but with the current their current budgetary um, position and, and struggles, they are not in a position to be, a, be able to weather the replacement of these tires. Um, basically, what happened is they had, did have two tires that got punctured. So when those two tires were replaced by Drakeville, it was, it was identified that the other tires were beyond the 
seven year recommended lifespan for emergency response vehicles. Um, National Fire Protection Association does have a standard safety standard for um, emergency response vehicles that tires need to be less than seven years old to maintain optimum braking traction and performance. Obviously with uh, a tanker vehicle, you're talking 3000 pounds of water. This is a lot of weight going down the road. Um, so it's really something that we need to make sure that we keep those tires um, on that city vehicle within that, that safety standard and, and to protect the safety of the Drakefield members responding with the tanker and also the general public. Um, we had looked to see if those tires would be able to be repurposed because they, they're not high mileage tires, obviously. Um, it's just the age, but it doesn't look like Public Works does have a use for those tires at this point in time, but we are still going to look to try to identify a home for, for those extra tires. So, you know, I would, um, you know, I'm here just requesting to, you know, in support of that resolution, uh, Drakeville doesn't have the ability to, to fund that purchase at this time. That'd be a, a big hit on their budget that they hadn't planned for. And it's obviously something that we had not budgeted in within this, uh, this fiscal year. So I don't know if there's any questions. Floor is open to questions. Nope. No questions. Nope. All right, then I'll call the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Chief Tally. I don't know if Dave Maclis is on the call as well, um, but um, please extend our um, best to Drakeville um, and we'll get this done as quickly as we can. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Moving into item 11, I'll entertain a motion to adopt resolution number 143-208, authorizing a modification of paragraph three of the tax collector service agreement to allow the tax collector to fulfill its obligation of final settlement of the second installment of the total taxes and sewer user fees, which are due on the rate books for the 10-1-2019 grand list on or before the first Monday in July, 2021 instead of the first Monday in May 2021 and further authorizing a credit to TTC in an amount not to exceed $40,000 as compensation for its loss of interest attributed to the department program, excuse me, deferment program required by Governor Lamont's executive order number 9R, which amount shall be used to reduce the balance due by TTC to the city when it pays the second installment of the total taxes and sewer fees on the October 1, 2019 grand list. That's a novel. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'll move it. <laughs> Thank you, Councilwoman Rowett. Second. <laughs> and seconded by Councilman Waldron. Are there questions? This is exactly what we did with that July installment. So I, I yeah. assumed that everybody would be comfortable with this. All right, I'll call this motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Item 12, I'll entertain a motion to accept the building department's report for October, November, and December of 2020. So moved. Thank you, Councilman Waldron. Second. And second by Councilwoman Wagner. Uh, questions on this motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 13, I'll entertain a motion to accept Corporation Council's recommendation and authorize the mayor pursuant to CGS section 12-179 to release the liens described in Attorney Michelle's memo dated January 19, 2021. So moved. Thank you, Councilman Waldron. Second. And seconded by Councilwoman Rouette. Questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 14, I'll entertain a motion to accept the recommendation of the tax collector and authorize the tax refunds indicated on the list dated January 19th, 2021. So moved. Thank you. Second. Second. I heard Councilman Waldron and Councilwoman Rowett. Are there questions on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Item 15, I'll entertain a motion by the City Council acting herein as a WPCA to accept the recommendation of the tax collector 
and authorize the sewer use refunds indicated on the list dated January 19th, 2021. So move. move it. Thank you, Councilman Waldron, seconded by Councilwoman Rowett. Are there questions on this motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 16, I'll entertain a motion to consider business by department heads. So moved. Thank you, Councilman Waldron. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman Rowett. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And we have Chief Talley is still on. Anything you wanted to add this evening, Chief? No, Mayor. Just so I want to thank the council for the support of the resolution and uh, getting those tires for the tanker. Um, I know Drakeville greatly appreciates it, and I'm I'm thankful for your support. So thank you. Thank you, Chief. Anything from the city clerk's office this evening? Okay. Anything more from Corporation Council? No, thank you. All right, we'll move into item 17. I'll entertain a motion to consider business by mayors and member. So moved. Thank you. Okay. Second. And Councilwoman Rowett, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, all right, so um, David Oliver, anything this evening, Councilman? No, thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Councilman Rubino? Nothing, Mayor. Councilwoman Rowett? Uh, nothing tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Councilman Waldron? Nothing for me, Mayor. Thank you. And uh, Councilwoman Wagner? I guess it's me. I think I have two things just to bring up, both positive. Um, first, I'm happy to report that Steve Temkin had an opportunity to meet with the Blue House rep, and he and Rachel Kelly walked around through the TDP properties, and he was very happy to do that, um, and he was glad to be included. Um, and in light of that, I was also contacted by the Northwest Arts Council, as well as Steve, and they would appreciate being included in discussion of the public arts policy going forward. Uh, Matt Conway also contacted me through TDP and the Rise Up Group is a nonprofit organization advocating for public art. I think Rista is, is very familiar with them. Um, he's hoping to work with all parties moving forward and as you all know, we have a unique alley on the TDP property. So Steve is interested in hearing um, some good stuff going forward so that he can look at things and look at proposals and have some approval for that. The other thing is I'm just really delighted that in light of all the efforts by Effie and Ngazi Mwanda uh, to try to incorporate black history, I was really happy when she told me that the school district is working with her to develop the Black History curricula. I also connected Effie with the Torrington Library and both parties were very happy to be able to work together. So just good news tonight. And um, let's hope 2021 is a better year for all concerned. Thank you, Councilwoman. All right. Um, I guess there being no further business before the board, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Wow. So Second. It's the okay. record. This is Councilman um, Waldron, Councilwoman Rouette, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you all. Thank Be you. safe. Bye-bye. Be, Be safe. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.